She asked of me how I could be G W O D if I do not believe in He that is supposed to be my Lord and Savior. What motivating force kept me from doing my darkest desires if I did not fear the retribution of an omniscient being? But I ask of you, how many atheists have been rocked by scandal where they were the vandal upon the body of an underage boy, only to have their organization deny, hide, and defend these men from the retribution due them by the laws of the land? How many secularists practice hypocrisy, preaching the nobility of poverty from the pulpit while living richly off the donated dollars of their impoverished flock? How many skeptical parents have kicked out their Christian children for daring to question tradition. I mean, what war was ever waged in the name of humanism? How can religion hold morality under lock and key if its leaders can't agree on what is moral? You want to discuss religion and morality? Then let's talk about the Crusades, the Inquisition, the implicit agreements of the slave trade, let's discuss how missionaries have been footpaths of colonialism. Let's discuss Pope Pius XII's silent consent to the Nazi movement. Let's discuss religious men making martyrs of innocence using planes as manned missiles against the land of infidels. Let's discuss Pope Benedict XVI's proclamation that condoms promote the spread of AIDS in infected Africa. Let's discuss the papacy okaying the excommunication of Brazilian mother and doctors for performing an abortion on raped nine-year-old impregnated with twins by her stepfather, while religiously stepdaddy walks away scot-free. Let's discuss Michigan mother watching 16-month-old waste away because he did not say amen after mealtime prayers, believing that he would be resurrected. Let's discuss Irish Catholic priests performing deviant practices on the deaf children entrusted in their care. Let's discuss anti-abortion advocates advocating the assassination of doctors for, for, for performing legal operations. Let's discuss how religion keeps the masses on their asses, happy with the here and now, believing that their kingdom will come in the hereafter. Let's discuss how religion convinces people to support political parties who do not work in their own best interests. Let's discuss how religion makes second-class citizens of women. Everything that goes wrong in the Bible can be traced back to a woman from the Garden of Eden on down. So question my morality because I don't believe, but I think you should defend yours based on the history of those who follow he that you most wish to be like. But you will demand of me to take the followers of faith on a case-by-case -case basis while practicing your prejudice towards atheists based on some preconceived notions of those who don't believe. Get to know us personally. Ask of me how I could be G-O-O-D if I do not believe in he that is supposed to be my Lord and Savior. Ask what motivating force keeps me from doing my darkest desires if I do not believe in the retribution of an omniscient being. And I will tell you what I do believe. I believe that all of humanity is connected. That what happens half a world away may one day affect me or my seed. I believe that children should be taught to think critically about what they hear, what they see, and what they believe, and then left to make their own decision. I believe that what happens behind closed doors between two consenting adults is nobody's business, but their own. I believe that religion is just a division perpetuated by the powers that be to keep you and me from focusing on what really matters most, just like race, just like gender, and just like sexuality. I believe that morality doesn't come from God or Allah or Yahweh or Muhammad or Buddha or Jesus or the Bible or the Quran or spirituality or religion, but is instead a basic human element that allows us to further the existence of our species. I believe that all the pain and suffering I've seen in my family, and indeed all of the world, is not caused by an omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient being that is just testing us or can't be bothered to help, but is instead something we can all work to eliminate. I believe that no God means the possibility of less suffering in the future.
I believe that if all of humanity were like me, we would see that this is the only earth we will ever have and be better stewards. So if you dare question my morality because I don't believe, be prepared to defend yours because you do.